All right, it's November 21st, 2021. I got the American broadcast here. So we've got some uh, awkward kind of Steve Kerr uh, fist bump moments here. Steph Curry's getting warmed up, uh, shaking it out a little bit. Amy Otterbert likes it. And just a shout out to Jonathan Kaminga for rocking the Dumb and Dumber uh, tux to the draft. That was just like next level. One of my favorite movies of all time. Guys, I know Svima Hyluk is doing it. 360 backflip dunk right now, but I just wanted to interrupt the game by telling you that I spoke with assistant coach uh, Dave, whatever the fuck, uh, last night, and he told me that defense was going to be really important today because this is a good team. All right, guys. So right here, Precious Achu is going to do something that's it's not a sin, but it's definitely not ideal. Just kind of mindlessly dribbling here. You got six seconds on the shot clock, and now you've given it to Ben, with, who's not a three-point shooter, with four seconds left. It's these kind of things that kill the flow of an offense. So this is just a heartbreaking play. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen. So we've got two point guards, and we're only going to get the ball in to pass the three-point line once, disregarding the shot, if you can call it that, which results from it. So we've got Banton here, um, and we've got no off-ball movement from Precious or Sfi. They're both standing there, kind of just waiting and watching. I don't really know what they're doing. Um, Damon Lee is kind of going back and forth. Sfi has his hands up, and Lee kind of adjusts. So that's not really a great pass to make. There's nowhere to really go. So... Banton's going to throw it into Boucher, who has a height advantage here. And so you you typically want Boucher. Now, 10 seconds left on the clock, nine seconds left. He's going to go back out to Flynn, who's now just kind of just, again, precious and speed, just kind of standing there. Ban does make himself open. Flynn doesn't really see, but it's not a great pass anyway. It's just nothing happening. I don't know why Flynn's retreating at this point. you got five seconds left on the clock. Really desperate now, and you're just kind of dribbling. There's no communication. Nobody's cutting. Nobody's moving. moving and now we're just going to get a whatever that is off the side of a backboard. So not an ideal, and I, it's not even I'm not taking it all in on Flynn. It's just like, this is what happens when the Raptors offense gets stagnant. And it's just like, that's tough. And now we're going to get the Chris Boucher combo meal, which is a overly aggressive closeout and a turnover. So here we're going to see Chris is under the basket and now he's just like a fucking tackle just goes right through just you just got to pump Boucher and he's in the upper deck and now we're going to go down the floor and we're going to get point guard Boucher here for a moment I don't know how many times I've seen that this year but it feels like more than once Raptors were kind of clawing back at this point but ultimately this is what the Warriors did to uh the Raptors <laughs> we already got the Texas <laughs> 